What do Colorado House Bill 1081 and the Stupin Bill Rape Trial have in common? Absolutely nothing. Because comprehensive sex education teaches children to respect one another's bodies, and Stupin Bill is an example of what happens when no one shows any respect. Expectant parents, Emma and Michael, didn't have the benefit of comprehensive sex education. Like many people, they relied on friends and books for their information. There was never any talk about that. My dad never talked to me about that. No. I talked to my cousin about that, and that's weird. See, my mom gave me a book, and right. the, the book answered a lot of my questions, um, which was also another reason why I think my friends came to me, because none of my friends' parents you were more educated. talked about it. Like most parents, Emma and Michael want a better future for their unborn son, Jacob. They believe that comprehensive sex education is one of the tools they can give him to ensure that he does have a better future. You know, when you get around, you can, you can raise your child as well as you think so, but when it comes to other parents, you don't know how they're going to raise them. So the good thing about having something in a school system, it really, you know, because how are kids supposed to know if something bad is happening to them sexually or otherwise right. if it's not explained to them? Exactly. Ignorance is bliss, but not with children. Genevieve Berry, unfinishedbusinessblog.com.